I don't think it's gonna happen. Nah, it might happen. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna depend. Do these people want me to have my? Lead me to the other side. Show me all your life. Then I know I'll be alright. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. This is a spicy one because I finally got my dream coral for this reef tank. Like, I've been wanting this coral for probably almost two years now, which is crazy. The, a lot of you guys might know it as the elusive coral on this channel because every time I go out looking for it, I never end up getting it just because, uh, you know, a, a bunch of things. Look what we got here. Where did these corals come from? Funny you might ask. It is auction time right now. I'm on South Plains Aquaculture Facebook page right now. They do a live every single Thursday. We're gonna see if we could scoop up a couple pieces. I know they got some fire in there. I don't know. There's already like 23 people in there. We, we're only going for good deals. They do it just by the comments. So, and then they, they have a countdown. I don't know how long. Uh, Let's see. Two minutes starting now. Two minutes no on the clock. Bid. This is a hundred dollars Zoa. A hundred dollars Zoa. I am on the hunt for some Ghanis for the nano tank. I'm also on. For 40. There are 40 bucks on that Zoa. I'm also on the hunt for Ghanis, maybe some Acans. That's pretty much Ten. it. Now I'm gonna go to Bo for forty-five dollars. Forty-five bucks. These are cool. I had ones like these, and they didn't make it. So sad. Oh, I don't know what that one is. I feel like that's gonna be expensive. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bid on it. 35. Hey, I got a bid in it. We got Bianca for 35 dollars. This guy's already at 40. Nice. Honestly, I'm waiting. They've had some really fire Zoas, but remember, I'm trying not to get Zoas, so I'm just waiting patiently. I'm waiting for those Ghanis. Hopefully. People have left the auction by the time the Ghanis come out. Fingers crossed. Picture. Let's see what this one is right there. I like that chalice. Maybe we'll bid on that, depending. One minute starting now. Tequila Sunrise Chalice. Dang, 15 already? Come on, Ron. I'm going for 16 bucks. Let's go. Let's go, Ron. Four, three, oh. two, one. That one goes to Bianca. Hey! We finally got one. I'm actually surprised because seconds. that's the brightest one I've seen in a while. And apparently these people don't like the bright stuff like I do. You know me, I gotta have the pop and pop it in the tank. We're getting to the goodies over here. This is what I've been waiting for. This and the Ghanis, but specifically that bleeding, uh, bleeding apple in the back. I'm curious to see what that goes for. That thing is sick. 20 bucks? They're at 20 bucks. 25 bucks. We got Brandon. 40 bucks. I'll pay. I'll pay 50 bucks. I'll pay 60 bucks. This guy's at 75. I'm out. I'm going for that bleeding apple right there. Right there. That, that shit mind. I'll Are we about to get the elusive freaking bleeding apple scully? I don't think it's going to happen. Nah, it might happen. I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna depend. I was about to bid on this green one just for shits and giggles, but I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna let them spend all their money on here. But that's good too. Look, green scullies, 150. It's 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 not what I've been wanting though. I mean, this is still cheap. Ooh. That thing is sick. I think I might be able to pick up this scully. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm actually a little nervous and my hands are sweating a little, you know? Oh, you better not freeze on me now, boy. I will be pissed. That brings us to today's sponsor, South Plains Aquaculture. Not only are they the sponsor for today's video, they are also the title sponsor for Skelly Fest, which is super dope. Something really cool that they offer is every single Thursday, they go on Facebook Live for like one hour to literally the one that I was on was almost three hours long. So they have a ton of corals every single week that you guys can check out. And then basically you just write in the comments or sometimes they do buy it nows, as you guys saw, things like that. And then you can get a bunch of good deals. And then from that, they ship. So, and the shipping's not even that bad, it's 40 bucks. Like, you get a, a good package going and you get it shipped out, it's totally worth it. Aside from the auctions, another great thing that they offer is LPS and SPS random packs. So you pay the price of the, of the pack and then they'll put a couple goodies in there that are valued more than the value of the pack, which is great. Like, especially if you're kind of just starting out, it might be a little harder for somebody who has an established tank because you have a bunch of stuff already. But if you're just starting out and you're looking to get that little euphelia garden going or something like that, you can pick that up and get a nice little mixture of pieces going. If you are local to Texas, they also offer aquarium services. 
Wish they were local here so I could have them clean this thing because as you see, I uh, slack, slack hard. Although the live auctions are on their Facebook page, South Plains Aquaculture, their website is SPA Corals. I'll drop all the links, I'll drop their address so if you're in Texas, you guys can check them out. The website and the Facebook link down below. Thursdays are the lives. 8 p.m. Central, which is 9 uh, Eastern, I believe. When you guys come to Skelly Fest, be sure to check out the SPA Coral booth. They will be right in the front when you walk in there, and I'm sure they're gonna be bringing some heat. Thank you so much, South Plains Aquaculture, for sponsoring not only this video, but for being the title sponsor of Skelly Fest. I appreciate you guys. Without further ado, let's open this package. This is looking trash right now, like super, super trash. It's been almost two weeks since the water change. Ooh, I haven't gotten a ship box in a while. This is exciting. I always have so much fun doing this with one hand. Nice little unboxing. The packaging is woo! You guys see what that is right there? Let's go. Oh, and they float. I'm thinking this is the tequila sunrise I got. This one looks toast. This might be the uh, Rainbow Millie and this guy. Oh crap, he's the one that broke. Nah, he's good, he's good, oof. Oof, I'm excited guys. So I am going to be dipping these corals before I put them in the tank. Although I'm sure SPA corals tanks are beautiful. I still want to just protect my beautiful reef, my beautiful Sino reef, you know, make sure uh, I do a little bit of precautious measures. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to dry the bags and temp them for a while because if you guys know my tanks run not my tanks, just this tank runs uh, pretty hot. It runs like 82 degrees. So I wanna let them, and this is, ki this, this is kind of cold right now. So I'm gonna let them sit for a while. Oh, is this gonna sink? Nah, we're good. It's like a bobber. And then we got this freaking Goliath here. Oh, I think this is the leaking bag. Yes, I think it is. All right, so I need to reevaluate here. Let's see if it fits in here. This might be too big. Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna be good. All right. I don't know if this is gonna sink or not. Hopefully not. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just kind of pinch it here. Seems, seems good. Oh my goodness, look at that baby. It matches perfectly with the uh, grafted Monty in the back. That's gonna look so, sorry Hollywood Stunner, you gotta go. I think I'm just gonna move the uh, Hollywood stunt. I don't know if it's gonna fit is the problem. I was just gonna move that guy under there. But that's also a spot that doesn't have Sino. So I wonder if I should put, uh, if I should put that guy there for now until I get my water changed and kind of clean this up. Hmm, decisions, decisions. But it, it's gonna look so pretty there. It's like, it's like, it's like a masterpiece, I don't know. With this guy, guys, I don't think, I, I was originally gonna just put it in and see if it comes back, but because the water is so cloudy, I don't think I'm gonna risk it. It probably just didn't do too well with the, uh, the heat and transfer or something. I know uh, they're a little bit finicky sometimes. If it was not cloudy, I would go for it, but I, I don't know. I just don't want to risk it. It was, I think I won it for like five bucks. So, sorry dude. Another option could be to put it in the nano tank, but I don't run the lights strong enough over there for SPS. So, yeah. At least it was the cheap one that I won rather than hubba hubba. All right, they have been chilling for a while. Right now would be a great time for you guys to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. You're gonna wanna be here for it, but right now it is time to dip these corals. I got my two saltwaters here that came out of my tank. I do a little, a little double, a little double scooper rooney. I have my little uh, turkey baster thing so that way I could you know, move the Core RX around. Obviously I got the Core RX, so we gotta put these guys in here now. And I have my timer on deck. This thing is pretty. The split on it is freaking nice. I am only going to do one cap of this because that is not a ton of water. It's like four caps per gallon. I probably won't even do a full cap to be honest. Like a, like a half a cap, that's pretty good. Pour some over here. Three minutes. I do three because um, usually it takes time to switch it to the next one. 
and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I just don't want to do too much, you know. But there's some crud coming off, but nothing looks terrible. This is probably gonna piss off the coral, and I'm just using this little like turkey baster thing to kind of get under. That mouth is open. I don't even want to push nothing in there. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. We got a minute to go. My anxiety is through the roof right now. All right, you're out, bud, you're out. Put him in the first one. I'm grabbing the rock, not the actual coral. And then we'll just, oh look, we got some stuff in there. I'll just have him chill in there for a second. Get this guy out. I don't have to put him all the way down. Actually, he could just, he could chill. The nerves right now. Remember, both of these were just straight salt water from my tank. Let's send it. How do I want this? Oh, it's so beautiful. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at those freaking colors. Heck yeah, dude. This thing is a showstopper. Whole, look at that, it's blinding the lens. Wow, 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 wow. Holy shit, that thing is freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that is one of the first pieces of coral that I put in my tank, and like as I was putting it in my tank, I realized how freaking sick it was. That thing is so bright, number one. It looks freaking beautiful as a centerpiece. Like, the elusive Scully, guys. We freaking finally got it. As far as this guy goes, um, I think we're just gonna put him on the frag rack for now because I don't know where to put him. Ooh, he's got a little, he's pretty too. Heck yeah, dude. I got some freaking solid pieces. Yeah, buddy. Tequila sunrise. It's only been a little bit and he's already no more skeleton on the edge. That is a beautiful bleeding apple scully. There was skeleton around the whole rim of it, skeleton in the mouth. He was super pissed off. But now he looks like he's been in the tank for freaking months. And it is massive, like look at it. <laughs> it's the perfect centerpiece. I love the Hollywood center that was there because it was bright but this just takes it to a whole nother level. I even cleaned the front of the glass for you guys, just so you could just look at that thing. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. And I know this guy's getting all the glory, but let's not forget, I got another one over in that corner. It looks like it has some sort of like double eye on the top or something going on. Where do you guys think that one should go? Pick a spot. It's like, we're, we're getting pretty, we're pre getting pretty stocked up in here. It's, it's uh it's I, I can't wait to fill the euphelia garden in the right and then we're pretty we're pretty close man it's come a long way super stoked to finally get this scully in my tank it was like the little missing piece of puzzle now next is the euphelia garden we got to get that euphelia garden in the back right corner i am going to be working on it pretty soon huge shout out to south plains agriculture for sponsoring this video be sure to check out their live on thursday night on their facebook page i will drop the link down below set an alarm be there, get yourself some fire, like hours and hours of freaking auction stuff. So pick up some good deals. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Also, if you are local to South Florida or if you travel for shows, Skelly Fest, September 24th, 2022, 2022. In Miami, Florida, I am throwing the Ultimate Aquatic Expo. Skelly Fest tickets are on sale right now. GA tickets are only $12 online. Ticket prices will increase closer to show date. VIP tickets are $50. Those will stay $50, but there's only 50 of those available. We will not be adding more, only 50 VIP. So pick up your tickets early, get your spot. We will see you there. There's a ton of vendors, raffle, lounge. It's gonna be a freaking good time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Lead me to the other side. Show me all your life. Then I know we